blog and internet, this is Cat Tiger from Blind Cat Blues and I am continuing my coverage of Braille Note Apex. So I am going to show you guys how to pair your Braille Note with an iOS device. Uh, this pairing is a little bit different to pairing uh, most Bluetooth devices. Um, it is done a little bit differently. So, first off, uh, the obvious, obvious thing would be to check if your Bluetooth is on on your iOS device. Selected Wi-Fi. Selected Bluetooth. Um, selected Bluetooth. Um, I'm just going to turn mine off um, um, and back on again. And while I wait to go to our Apex um, from the main menu. We press T for terminal mode. We want to select Bluetooth. Now we go back to our iPad. We go to uh, General. General. One update available. Button. Go down to One Accessibility. Button. Multitasking. Button. Accessibility. Button. Larger text settings. To VoiceOver. Vision. Heading. VoiceOver. On. On. Once in voiceover, down to braille. Speaking right, speaking right. Use pitch change. Velocity. Button. Speech. Button. Braille. Button. Braille display output. Interactive. Button. Um, I'll go over a few of these menus. You've got your braille display output, which um, will it means what your display will read, um, what you'll be able to, what it'll show up as. So you could have. Uh, six dot uncontracted, which is just plain six dot, six dot contracted braille or eight dot braille. Braille display input, braille display input is how you would enter um, what you would type in, whether you'd type in grade two or grade one braille, or for some reason uh, you would, if you wanted to type in four eight dot braille for the whole time for some reason, uh, you could do that. Braille display input, braille screen input, six dot. Status cell. Equations use Nemeth code. Show on screen keyboard. Off. Turn pages when panning. On. You can also have an on screen braille keyboard for some reason. Braille translation. English unified. Uh, braille translation. Um, that's whatever code you're working with. So unified. That works for me. Okay. Now you're looking for choose a braille display. Okay. Well, that's my braille note because there is no other braille notes around, so it has to be mine. And it's unpaired because I unpaired it earlier. Now, when when I press, uh, when I double tap on this, what will happen is it'll start pairing, and it will come up with a um, on on screen keyboard that will ask me to enter the pin, which is four zeros, and then you have to press done, uh, which is the equivalent to the enter key in the position on the on screen keyboard or press pair up in the top left corner of the screen and you are against the clock so it might take a few times to do thankfully we only have to do this once so this could be easier this process but well let's just do it Apex, four zero, zeros eight, one, and four. done. Apex, and it's zero, connecting. Zero, six, eight, one, four. Connected. And we are connected. So I'm gonna Landscape. set this up somewhat so you guys can see it. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that. If you are someone who uses looking at stuff. Um so I'm going to start by the equivalent to the home key on a BT keyboard is your thumb keys, your two inner thumb keys. So the two middle ones, press them at the same time. And we are back at the home. Um, same thing with um, your app switcher. We'll be pressing it twice real quick. Um, however, I don't think you can invoke Siri by holding these keys. No, nothing's happening. 
so I don't know why that doesn't quite work but anyway that's fine um if you do want a reminder of what some of these combinations do you can press space with K in Braille so it will tell you um, what key combinations you're pressing and to exit this the command you need to know is space with B space with B for back okay so to do the equivalent of swiping one right we can use the thumb keys which is probably the simplest way of doing it and to swipe back is the opposite thumb key the ones on the far side next and previous I believe they're called or we can press space with uh, dots four, dot four to swipe to the right or space with dot one to swipe to the left to access our router settings it is space with dot four and five and to swipe back the other way through the router settings it is space with dots two and three uh, to use our router settings the equivalent to swiping up or down let's say characters to get the spelling uh, we it is space and dot six and to go backwards is as you guessed it opposite is true so space with dots three um, to access a like to double tap the equivalent to double tapping on something um, let me just find something that's YouTube something using this hey um, it is space with um, a lower C or pressing one of your router keys the little bubble things um, so hang on I'm just gonna take a break I will be back okay welcome back um, so we have gone into YouTube and there are a few bonus things we can do with our keyboard the equivalent to pressing home and end and or end um, not the equivalent to the home button on the iPhone or iPad I mean home as in to the start of a document equivalent um, is space with one two three four or space with L will take you to the top um, most element on the page um, and the opposite would be true to go to the end which would be space with four five six so we are at the top of the page let's search so I press space with RC to access that so now I'm in editing so let's search for uh, uh, I should have done this ahead of time. Let's search for um, okay, I'm a Metallica fan, so I'm gonna search for a Metallica cover. Cover. And the equivalent to pressing enter on the enter key, as if you were on a QWERTY keyboard, is your two uh, le uh, right thumb key, right your next thumb key, and the one next to it, the right thumb key. Okay, enter Sandman. Okay, that'll do. I'll click that. 
you, and this time I'll use my one of my router keys. It can be any router key. Now this brings me to another um, useful gesture we can do. Um, the magic touch button, the magic touch uh, gesture, which is uh, also known as double tapping with two fingers. Um, that is the equivalent of that with our keyboard is space with dots one, dot five, and dot six. So that is stop playing in this context. It's also so if you're on Facebook. Uh, it, it brings up the menu where you can select like, reply, comment, uh, share, all that good stuff. So it's the it's very um, unique to each app that you are in. Also, if you're using your iPhone and it started ringing, you would be probably able to answer your phone using that gesture. I've never actually had a phone call come through while doing this, uh, but that would be what you would do I'd imagine normally so this is the gesture to it so I'm sure you would it would work to answer your phone so I'm just trying to think is there anything that I have not covered regarding um, navigation with this um, oh yeah I should mention that your when you are typing um, one thing that's a bit hard to get used to at first is your backspace is not your backspace key. It doesn't delete things like would in a normal uh, braille note taker form. Uh, the I should stop this. The um, equivalent to that is space with D for delete. That's what I think of. And or pressing your two um, left thumb keys. So your previous key and the left thumb key together will backspace. I don't quite know why but that's the way it goes. Um, so I'm going to go to home and there is one more gesture I forgot to mention. Um, so space with OW so that's two, uh, three and six. That is the equivalent to swiping um, swiping pages. Now because the option key, uh, the option menu for the Braille Note Apex is paired to space with O um, as a default, we have to do a bypass command and to the bypass command was, is um, 456 and enter and space I believe and now we can press space with O to swipe through another page to next page. Um, I'm just thinking, did I forget anything else? Did I forget anything else? Um, so I think that's the basics of navigating around. Oh, of course, to make it read, you can press space with R to read from current focus. And I believe space with W is read from top. I might have gotten that slightly backwards, but that's the gist. Um, space with S will take you to the status menu, the status bar. Uh, space with, I think, normal C. No, space with middle C. Takes you to the control center. Um, I think that's it all I can think of. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you know someone who could benefit from this video, uh, please share. Feel free to share. If there's something you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Um, got any questions about this stuff let me know see if I can answer them uh, tech related or blindness re related I suppose um, yeah so I'm gonna end it here thanks very much for watching guys um, as always take care and happy gaming see you next time peace out
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Smiley emoji.